Verstappen loses one of its classic sponsors. Supermarket chain Jumbo will stop supporting Max Verstappen's career at the end of the 2023 Formula One season. On the day of the first practice for the Spanish Grand Prix at the Barcelona circuit, it emerged that Jumbo, a supermarket chain in the Netherlands, will stop sponsoring Verstappen at the end of this year. Sometime in April we already had a meeting with Tun van Veen, Jumbo's new top manager. Then we were introduced to the new direction Jumbo was going to take. Also the new direction in terms of sponsorship. So today's news has not taken us by surprise. We were already informed. Asked if he understands Jumbo's decision, he replied, I think it's very healthy to take a fresh look at things after 10 years of working together. Especially given what is happening now with inflation and so on. It is not unusual for a supermarket to put all its major sponsorship activities under the microscope. So, in that sense, I fully understand why they have started to study it. And that they have made this decision, of course, is up to them. Thus, after 10 years, what Vermolen describes as, a fantastic and very successful partnership, comes to an end. Jumbo was the first. According to Vermolen, Jumbo played an important role in Verstappen's career, especially in the early stages. When Max had just come out of karting, I was in Vegel with Max and Joss. We were seeing if we could get support from the Dutch business community to help Max take the first step into motorsport. And Fritz van Eed, from Jumbo, was the first to be willing to give us the support we needed. Support that came in incredibly handy at the time. Verstappen's representative claims that Jumbo also played a role in the return of F1 to the Netherlands. With Fritz at the helm, Jumbo race days were conceived and implemented. In my opinion, that event is, after all, the forerunner of the Dutch Grand Prix. I am very proud of what we have all done. And what we will continue to do this year, said Vermolen, who recalled that the collaboration will continue for another six months. We still have Super Friday at the Dutch Grand Prix at the Zandvoort circuit and I hope we can finish the cooperation with a bang in the form of a third world title. Asked whether there are already talks with potential new partners about Verstappen's soon-to-be vacant place in the helmet, Vermolen says he is in no hurry. First and foremost, of course, we work with Red Bull and Red Bull Racing, says Vermolen. So any new partner must already fit in with that. And then it also has to fit into our personal portfolio. It's a puzzle that we want to put together thoughtfully, so we can have a long-term partnership with the right parties. We are still at the beginning of the Formula One season, the executive continued. Let's put that puzzle to rest. We are not on the hunt to fill that space immediately. Let's just take a good look at what's going to happen next. We are talking to different parties, but that is a process that is always ongoing. The market is always on the move. We will analyze it calmly in the next period. Verstappen entered into a new partnership with game producer AIA Sports earlier this year. He was also introduced as a global ambassador for Heineken 0.0 and at the end of last year extended his multi-year agreement with Viaplay thanks to which the streaming service's logo now appears from the Netherlands on the official cap of the two-time world champion. The logo of online car dealership Car Next, Verstappen's personal sponsor from 2019, also appears there. Which company's sponsor Checo Perez? K Empress's patrocine Anna Checo Perez. In 2022, Perez pocketed more than $1.3 million just for becoming Jalisco's ambassador and promoting tourism to his hometown. Adamas del Nombre de la Escuderia del Toro Rojo, en la Indumentaria del Piloto de 33 Anos Podemos ver marcas como Telsol, Telmex, Zards, Tag Heuer, Kavak, Banort y Unifan, las cuales la hacen gana mucho dinero al Mexicano. Tequila Mexicano es nuevo patrocinador de Red Bull Racing en F1. La Escuderia Austriaca Red Bull Racing Card of AS Moors, Mexicana, y ahora Adamas de contar con la presencia del tapatío Sergio, Checo, Perez en uno de sus asientos de Formula 1, ha anunciado su alianza con un tequila 100% hecho en México. Red Bull Racing ha encontrado en México un gran número de aficionados tras la contratación de Checo, Perez, y por eso ha fortalecido ese vínculo con el país mediante su asociación oficial con una famosa marca de bebidas alcohólicas. This Monday, after the Miami Grand Prix, tequila patron, from the Bacardi family, announced that it has become the first official worldwide spirits partner of the Red Bull Racing Team. This partnership also strengthens the connection of the tequila patron brand with Checo, Perez, with whom in 2022 they announced a gastronomic project called Circuito Patron in various restaurants and bars in Mexico City and Guadalajara. 
Checo, Perez himself gave 1,400 bottles of this tequila to all members of the Red Bull Racing Team in December 2022 as a thank you for their support during the season. Are there differences between the cars of Verstappen and Checo, Perez? The Red Bull Racing car is the best in F1, but Verstappen has taken better advantage of it than Checo, Perez. Dutchman Max Verstappen did it again. Last weekend he was on display again, winning the Spanish Grand Prix in dominant fashion. Not even his teammate Sergio, Checo, Perez could compete with the same car. In addition to topping all but one of the timesheets, Q2 in qualifying, he completed a Grand Chelem by taking pole position, the race win and setting the fastest lap. Mad Max signed an impeccable performance aboard the best car on the grid, which everyone defines as, from another league. The RB19 was designed by one of the greatest geniuses in the history of F1, the Englishman Adrian Newey, who also designed the car with which Sebastian Vettel won four world championships between 2010 and 2013. Are there differences between Verstappen's car and Checo's? Halfway through last season Sergio, Checo, Perez claimed that there were differences between his car and Max Verstappen's and although he could not prove it, Helmut Marko admitted that they adapted the car for the Dutchman. That same situation could repeat itself this season, as initially the RB19 car is the same, but the engineers configure it according to the driving style of each driver. The cars are the same, Paul Monaghan, Red Bull Racing's chief engineer, assured Motorsport during the 2023 Monaco GP. We treat pilots fairly and support them as best we can. Nothing is going to change. Occasionally there may be some part of the car different from the other, as happened at the 2023 Australian GP, when the wing of Checo's RB19 was different. However, after comparing results, the best design is left to both cars. This is not unusual, nor does it favor one or the other. It is normal practice when they want to establish the best compromise in aerodynamic tuning and usually they then fit both cars with what has worked best. Marco says Checo Perez missed podium due to bad start. Red Bull had hoped that Sergio Perez could make it back to the podium at the 2023 F1 Spanish Grand Prix, but he finished fourth due to a bad start, according to Marco. For many years now, Formula One fans have grown accustomed to the fact that Helmut Marko, Red Bull's chief advisor, never hides his opinions, no matter how controversial or unpopular they may be. On this occasion, the Austrian veteran criticized an uncharacteristic Sergio Perez, who was overtaken by George Russell and finished off the podium after another poor qualifying. The Mexican driver was one of the favorites to take the pole position in the Spanish Grand Prix, but a mistake in Q2 left him out of the race, as after accidentally stepping on the gravel of the track, he failed to find the rhythm at the wheel of his car and ended up in 11th position, which left him out of the last and final Q3. However, the potential of the RB19 is so superior to the rest of the rivals that Red Bull almost took it for granted that Checo would end up on the podium sooner or later, as Verstappen had done it with relative ease in the past, as for example in the Miami GP. However, Perez was overtaken by the two Mercedes drivers and crossed the checkered flag in fourth position, an unflattering result for an always demanding Helmut Marko, who also criticized his bad start, which, according to him, caused him to lose the podium in the end. Checo had a good race, yes, but his start was really bad. Russell got ahead of him and otherwise a podium would have been possible, he said. The Austrian also criticized the fact that the Mexican was not able to take the fastest lap point, which fell into the hands of Max Verstappen despite having worse tires than his teammate. And then, Verstappen, also wanted to get the bonus point from the fastest lap. Even though his tyres were not as good as Perez's, but he managed it, Marco said. As for the Dutch drivers' race, who leads the championship with an iron fist, the energy drinks team advisor confirmed that it had been a walkover for him despite some somewhat erroneous decisions in terms of strategy. The race was relatively easy for Max, although the hard tire choice was not the best. We lost some time there. But other than that, everything was perfect, Marco said in closing remarks to Austrian ORF television.
If you are liking the video please like, subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications to stay up to date with the latest news. Red Bull F1 believes Perez has taken the pressure off Verstappen. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner said that Sergio Perez took the pressure off himself by being behind Max Verstappen in the Formula One World Championship. The start of the 2023 Formula One season gave us an incredible duel for the World Championship lead between Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. The Red Bull duo shared the wins in the first rounds of the season, and due to the good performance of what is theoretically the second driver of the team, many thought that a civil war would break out within the Milton Keynes team. However, the Dutchman began to stand out with several consecutive victories, which added to the Mexicans' mistakes, caused the difference to remain at 53 points after the Spanish Grand Prix. The team's director, Christian Horner, spoke about it and gave his curious point of view, assuring that the cushion that the reigning world champion has could be beneficial for the driver from Guadalajara. If you look at the points now, there is a big gap between them, but that takes the pressure off him because he has nothing to lose, he can be relaxed and breathe, just drive like he did in Azerbaijan or in other races this season, explained the top energy drinker. Max, Verstappen, is at the peak of his performance, and for Checo, Perez, it must be tough mentally, but as I said, that point separation takes the pressure off, he's free to drive. As for the race itself at Circuit de Barcelona Catalonia, in which Sergio Perez could only take fourth place, behind the Dutch two-time world champion himself and the two Mercedes, the Britons said, he was in the hunt for the podium at the end of the race, lost a bit on the first lap, but recovered after that he was very strong. He was out of position, and if he had qualified somewhere else, today would have been different, I think he can take positives from his comeback. He didn't have a great start, the opposite of George Russell, and I think that's where the difference was. However, he came back stronger, even if it wasn't enough laps for the podium, continued Christian Horner, who sees only positives from his driver's test in Spain. This comeback will give him confidence for Montreal. If you are liking the video please like, subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications to stay up to date with the latest news. The anecdote that shows Verstappen at another level, according to Red Bull F1. Max Verstappen showed he is on another level by recognizing Helmut Marko's cell phone ringing in the background on the Red Bull radio, according to Christian Horner. Max Verstappen raised a few smiles in second free practice for the Formula One Spanish Grand Prix when in his response to a radio message about his plan for the race he referred to a ringtone that could be heard from the garage. Verstappen was able to recognize it as the one used by Marco, the Red Bull consultant. Someone's phone is ringing, Verstappen said. Is it Helmut's? The subsequent confirmation from the team was amusing, and the moment confirmed in team principal Christian Horner's head the high level at which the Dutchman is performing right now if he is able to pick up on little details like that while driving an F1 car at the limit. Reflecting on the progress Verstappen has made from his first World Championship win at the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix to currently being dominant, Horner said, I think in 2016 he was very raw. He was incredibly fast, huge and a natural talent. He still has that natural speed and tremendous skill. But I think what he has now is the experience, the roundness and the mental capacity. By recognizing Helmut Marko's phone ringing inside the car, it shows that he has an extra focus that has put him on another level, and I think the best thing about him is that he just keeps getting better, he said. However, not all of the two-time world champion's radio conversations with his engineer Jampiero Lambiase are so light-hearted, and at the end of the Spanish GP he ignored a request not to go for the fastest lap. Having already received a black and white flag for violating track limits, Lambiase didn't think it was worth the risk to push the envelope and potentially receive an extra point penalty. But Verstappen didn't take that into account and ended up getting it. Horner saw no problem with what happened, as he compared the relationship between driver and engineer to that of an elderly married couple. His engineer was just informing him that he was committing one more excess and it was a penalty, 
so he wouldn't risk it on the fast lap, Horner said. The relationship they have is that of an old married couple, almost debating over which TV channel they should be watching. But Max had everything under control. He was aware of the risk and was still able to do the fastest lap quite comfortably with the tires he had, concluded the Briton. Era consciente del riesgo y un ashi fu capaz de hacer la vuelta rápida bastante comodamente con los neumorcos que tenía, concluyó el Britonico.